All right, so now we're going to tackle this page one bit of content at a time using patterns. Remember we talked about patterns being the elements of a web page that we use over and over again to create different things. In this one, I'm going to talk about the headings. So um, up here in the title, this is just the uh, information that's going to go into the bookmark, it's going to go into the tab, it's going to go into the the title bar across the top of the window. Um, so for this one I asked you guys to put your name and then uh, favorite movie was all I asked you to put up there. Now inside the body we have a series of headings that we're going to use to define the content as we move down the page. The first thing we have was the largest one which is an H1. Oops, there we go, H1. And that was simply just going to be the name of the film, which for me is the fifth element. That is the first heading that we have. The next heading we have further down the way is an H2, and that was for the synopsis. And then further down we have another H2, and that is for why is this your favorite movie? And there we go. So I've gone through and put my headings in for the entire page. Now if we want to go to the next step, that is an H3, and then to an H4, H5, and H6. And that is how you set that pattern uh, for creating headings. It's the H element and it's 1 through 6 are what those are. Now we're going to move on to the next one. And the next one is going to be the table pattern. Now when we go through and we create a, a pattern for the table, we're just using a series of elements to define what those parts are. Now we talk about a table as having something that has, and I'll just insert a comment here, insert a table with five columns and two rows. So that gives me a hint of what I'm going to be putting in uh, this part of the page. So if I have five columns, that means I have to have five sets of something within each row in order to place information in. So the first thing I have to do is come in here and open up a table. And then I'm going to come down a little bit further and I will close the table. Then I need to come in here and open up a table row and then I need to come down a little bit and I need to close that table row. So again I've opened the table and I've opened up my first row. So if I wanted to I could put another comment in here and say this is the first row dot 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 of headings. So to do that remember that if I wanted to put in uh, a, a data cell I would put in a TD but in this case I am going to put in a TH and the TH is just the um, what we use to define the cell that we want to use uh, for for a header and so in here I'll put the first thing and that was the release date of the film the next one was a TH that has the MPAA rating and then another one let me back up here to there and we'll put another TH pair in here and this was the movie genre and then another TH and that is the director and then another TH for the last thing which was the movie studio there we go. So now I've got in my first row and it's a heading row. So we're going to put that of headings and I'll just come in here and in parentheses I'll put TH just so that you know uh, what it is that, that we're using. Then I'll come in and I'll go through and I'll make another row and say this is the second row. And I will go through and open up the TR. Come down here and then I will close the TR, come up and open up a TD. Now that is just the table data 
and the information that goes in there is it opened on May 7th, 1997. Then the rating of this movie was PG-13. And then the movie genre for this, uh, it is sci-fi. So I will just put in sci-fi for science fiction. And then I will put in another TD pair and that is the director was Luc Besson and then for the last one I have done here for the TD is it was done by Buena Vista Pictures alright so here we go this is my first table row and it has five THs to act as the the header of the table and then here is my second row and here are the TDs so again this is the pattern for an entire table open the table close the table then the pattern for a row is to open up a table row with the TR tag and then place as many divisions inside as we need in this case I'm using a TH to do a table head for the top and TDs just to show some data underneath so I will go to this now we'll go to file save and then I'll come over here and pop my live view and it will render this in a browser for me and there we go now we can't see the actual border of the table but we can see that this is divided up into five uh, different things and that the top row is bold and centered um, because of the uh, TH and then this just being TD is just the inserted information of the um, of the page itself. So there we go. That was the third of the patterns that we're going to talk about. Uh, the next one we're going to talk about is the list. Now for the list we had the actors and I just asked you to put that directly under the table. So I could put a comment in here and put list of actors. All right. So the kind of list we wanted was we wanted an unordered list of actors. So I will come in here and give myself some space, come back up here and I will open up a UL because that is what gives me an unordered list. And then I will come down here and I will, whoops, wrong key. I will close the UL and then come back up and proceed to put my items on the on the inside. So the actors that I had in this one, I wanted you to put the actor and then the character's name. So I open up a list item and um, I'm going to put in that it is Bruce Willis as Corbin Dallas. Close the list item. But one of the things I wanted you to do with these is I wanted you to put the name of the actor in bold and the character in italics. So to further do that, I would wrap a strong tag around Bruce Willis as so. And then I would put in an M tag around Corbin Dallas and that would give me the italics. So at this point I want to test it just to see if it works and then I can go into Chrome and there it is Bruce Willis as Corbin Dallas so it works pretty well let me come back in here and let's go ahead and let's do the next one right I could come in you know I could do it again but why not just copy the code paste it and replace the name so in here I will put Mila Javovich and then her name down here was simply Lilu. Come into the next line, paste, and that is Gary Oldman, and his name was Jean Baptiste. I think it was with an E. Emmanuel. Zorg. And then the last character in this wonderful movie that I'm going to talk about is the indelible Chris Tucker. 
and he played the enigmatic ruby rod and then I can just delete to clear the spaces up and there we go to here so now I've got my unordered list of actors we see that the pattern to create a list is to first open up the list whether ordered or unordered in this case it is unordered and then putting in a list item for each item we want to have inside the list we wrap a strong tag around something we want to be bold and we put an M tag around something we want to be italicized so I'm gonna go through and say that this is perfect so let's save it and then let's preview it in a browser and there we go now we have their four names we have Bruce Willis in bold Corbin Dallas in italics and the same thing for each character or actor coming down and each character coming in through here so as a quick review we have our headings we have a table we have a list and then we have more headings down the way and that'll be it for this video